stop believing Hold on to that feel again People killing, people dying Children hurt, can you hear them crying? Can you practice what you preach? I can't live with or without you Whenever I fall at your feet And she will love And she will love And so on and so on and another song, and another song, and another song, and another song. Hey guys, this is uh, a lesson on four chord songs. Now, instead of just demonstrating a whole bunch of songs and, and singing loads of them, um, what I'm going to do is teach you how to do this. I want to teach you a, a bit of a guide to these four chord songs, what's going on, um, and, and how to do it. If you're unsure um, what I'm referring to here, um, what we tend to refer to as a four chord song is of course a song that has four chords in it but they tend to be in a specific order and what I'm going to go through in this video is how to do a four chord song in the key of G if you're unsure of what keys are for the time being we're just going to go with uh, the fact that 90% of the time the key of the song is the first chord in the song or the chord sequence so this chord sequence, four chords, is going to start on a G. And in the first batch of examples, um, it, this order is going to be G, D major, E minor, and a C major. Um, if you need more help with those chords, um, check out my previous videos where I cover in depth how to play each of those chords. I will stick a link up to those um, here right now. Okay, so um, as I say, we want to treat these four chord songs or this chord sequence like a formula. And it's a formula which um, is similar to a 12 bar blues where it's one chord sequence and it's a lot of songs. The gimmick with these four chord songs that I'm referring to here is it tends to be a chord sequence that gets used in hit songs many hit records of the last 50 years use this chord sequence. It can be a chord sequence that songwriters turn to again and again and that crops up certainly in radio friendly pop songs but also spanning throughout any genre um, basically to have a reassuringly familiar sound for a listener but that also acts like a blank canvas for an artist to put over whatever their message is or whatever they're going to sing about. This is something that people turn to maybe for the chorus of a song and um, that's gonna, what I'm going to be showing you the examples of here today. It may not refer to the whole song. Some of these songs do keep going for the whole song. Sometimes it might just be the first part of a chorus or just a verse for example. But let's, let me give you some examples. Now I've, I've shortened this list slightly. I'm working off this sheet here which is going to be uh, downloadable from the link below uh, through my website totally for free and um, really handy if you have this um, in front of you and I'm going to be going from the a bar of each section to begin with because all these songs um, that I'm going to show you this, in this first batch we're going to do each chord for a bar. Okay, let's have a quick rundown of all these songs with these four chords. Uh, many of these songs are going to be covered more in depth in the future or in um, this whole batch of um, ten songs with these four chords. Um, but they'll change the order in the course. These are all going to be in exactly the same order. So to start with, we've got Jason Mraz, I'm Yours. I won't hesitate no more, no more. It cannot wait. I'm yours. To be able to get the kind of feel of the record there, you're going to want to play with offbeat chips. Um, it's kind of a reggae style of playing where we go one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four. And then you would sing in between. I won't. Hesitate 
No more, no more. It cannot wait. I'm yours. Okie dokie. Yeah, you'd want a capo fourth fret for that one uh, if you want to play that one along to the record, but that's a cool one to try out. Okay, for the next song, we're going to put our capo on the third fret and we're going to play High by the Lighthouse Family. Uh, again, a bar of each. So, two, three, four. Cause we are gonna be forever. That one's quite a, a mid-tempo song, so you're best off doing downs and ups with that one. One and two and three and four. And as I say, that will be in the key of the song as well. Uh, with your capo third fret, this is also take on me. Um, no, it's not. It's capo second for take on me by Aha. And this is just the chorus um, as well. So, um, take on me. It's quite a fast one. And as I say, all those uh, those first badges, you know, don't stop believing. There were also all a bar of each as well. So um, that's kind of one way to, to treat these four chord songs. However, those chords in that specific order will only do one batch of songs. They will only do um, one group of songs that have the chords in that um, way. Now we're not going to change the order at all in this video. What we are going to do is change your formula slightly. We're going to, uh, rather than doing a bar of each for your next couple of songs, we're going to do uh, two bars of each chord. And it changes it just enough to be able to do um, another batch of songs, as I say. So for these couple of batch of songs, we're going to do uh, a capo at seventh fret. Um, it kind of makes your guitar sound a bit like a, a ukulele. But it's used to create the effect uh, on uh, Dream Catch Me by Newton Falkler. So we have... There's a place I go when I'm alone I want be anyone I want to be for one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Again, just for the, uh, just for the chorus, that one. And for the strumming pattern, I'm using eight strums all down. So one and two and three and four and down, 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 down. Um, very similar, but a little bit faster. Love Story by Taylor Swift. Romeo, take me somewhere we can be alone. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Do be the princess. I'll be the princess. It's a love story. Baby, just say yes. Um, okie dokie. And um, as I say, that's an example of what we can do to that formula or do to that chord sequence without changing the order, a whole other batch of songs crop up. It's not like there had to be a, a new chord in there or anything like that. Um, cool. So along those same lines, rather than doubling up that chord sequence and taking it from one bar to, of each chord to two bars, we're going to half it now and we're going to do two beats of each um, to be able to do a few other songs. I'm going to start off with capo at 5th fret to be able to do Let It Be. Um, when I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. Now in Let It Be, it's a massive example of a 4 chord song, but it's actually only used in that first um, batch, in, in that first part of the chorus. Um, the second time round, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. It's, it's slightly changed, so as I say, some of these examples it will only be uh, one part of a song, but it's still really useful to know about. Uh, another example that's very similar to that in its uh, same capo, No Woman No Cry. No Woman No Cry. No Woman No Cry. It 
goes back to the uh, back to the start again. So you really want to treat um, this kind of introduction video to, to four chord songs as an ideas video to get you thinking about what songs you want to play and what songs are within your ability kind of chords wise and uh, just some ideas of styles and genres and things. Um, other songs with two, starting from G chord, uh, with two beats for each chord. We have When I Come Around. This would be no capo, but to be able to play it along to the song, um, we would need to tune down by half a step. So as I say, with with keys and, and different songs, sometimes the th music theory behind it can get very steep very quickly. So we're doing a super quick, super easy video for this one. So uh, two beats of each. One, two, three, four, one, two, when I come. When I come around Generally power eights for that one You're down from the three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four A bit of palm muting for the intro One and two and three and four and one and two um, we also have Can You Feel The Love Tonight, that's capo third. Can you feel the love tonight? Um, again, after that, it's only one line of the song that uses those four chords in that order, but it is um, very useful to know about, and maybe that's a song that you want to do um, that we, we could check out. We are the champions. No capo for this one. We are the champions, my friends. And also, uh, take a bow by Rihanna. You put on quite a show. You really got me going. Now it's time to go. One, two, three, four. One, two, all down. One and two and three and four. One. Okay. Um, and right, so now we're going to a, another batch of songs now which have done something else for this formula and what we're going to do this time, it's going to be the same order of chords but we start from E minor um, so we're going to do two beats of each still one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four and uh, your first song has a capo second fret and we got um, Africa by Toto Gonna take a lot to take me away from you There's nothing that a hundred men or more could ever do um, And that's one, one song we got, we got 21 Guns as well um, This one's just as an example, it is in the wrong key but as I say I'm just kind of um, showing you the potential for this four chord song idea and how you can use it um, Also got uh, if I were a boy. It's exactly the same as that. If I were a boy, I think I would understand how it feels to love a girl. I swear I'd be a better Holiday is the same as that, but it's much faster. Holiday by Green Day again. Bit more of a bounce to that one, much much faster. Um, but again, in the same kind of key um, as as other Green Day songs, because that's the key for his voice is is a, a big part of why um, song singer songwriters choose um, these keys. Um, final one from there, Hall of Fame is Capo 3rd and I'm going to be covering this one in depth in one of my um, later videos in this batch of songs. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Standing in the Hall of Fame. 
and the world's gonna know your name. Yeah, you can be the greatest, you can be the best, you can be the king, come back on your chest. Okay, just as an example, um, if this spurs off any other ideas, feel free to uh, write them in the comments below and maybe it'll be a song that I can um, teach you in the future. Uh, as I say, we're just rattling through quite a few now. Um, Okie dokie, so they were uh, a batch of songs where we start on E minor, we do the same order of the chords, but um, it's just two beats for each chord. The final one that we're going to cover in this video is a whole bar of each chord, again starting from that E minor. So E minor, C, G, and a D. So we got a zombie, doesn't need a capo to play this one. In your head, in your head, zombie, zombie, zombie. chord sequence going, speed it up very slightly, maybe go to downs and ups, cause I'm not here for your entertainment, you don't really want to mess with me tonight, okay, you and your hands by pink, both of those songs, no capo in the key of a song, great ones to check out and that I may wish to, uh, you may wish to tell me to cover in the future. Um, Kids by MGMT is very uh, with a capo on second fret to be able to do it to the key of the song. Um, a couple of other songs for you to try out. They, these. Um, these ones aren't really in the in the right key to do with these chords. As I say, it's just exploring the potential of it for you, for yourself to give you an idea of how many songs this covers. Um, with your E minor first, uh, we got Poker Face. Carry my, carry my. So got another song from my uh, beginners course, Love the Way You Lie, with a capo uh, third fret. Just gonna stand there and watch me burn. That's alright because I like the way it hurts. Just gonna stand there and hear me cry. But that's alright because I love the way you lie. And uh, finally, The Scientist by Coldplay as well. Uh, we'll do this one without a capo, um, just from your E minor. One, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Come up to meet you, tell you I want you, don't know how lovely I was just guessing numbers and figures pulling the puzzles apart. Okay, so that's a quick rundown and kind of exploring the potential uh, of four chord songs. Keeping the order of the chords the same, but changing how long the chord lasts. Um, to play a whole bunch of different songs. I think we've covered 30 songs there, um, which all use that same chord sequence from your E minor, which is the easiest way to play four chords um, on guitar. We will cover um, these songs and other ones in the, the kind of correct key and in other keys, but it's going to mean that the chords are a lot harder. So uh, in the meantime, I really advise you try and get the feel of the song with these same chords in the way that I've shown you today, just as a starting point. Uh, for other ideas of four chord songs, of course, The Axis of Awesome is a great video to, to check out. Very entertaining, but I've sort of shown you the workings to it as well. And YouTube is full of these sort of videos, you know, four chords, a hundred songs, four chords, two hundred songs in five minutes and things like this. Just doing the little bits of them.
that use um, these same chords in the same um, order. But this is just a video that shows you a little bit of the mechanics of what's going on there uh, and how you can recreate it yourself um, to, to impress your friends, I guess, and uh, get a heads up as to what's going on here a little bit. Um, that's the end of this video. Uh, please check out the other songs in this series, um, how to play 10 songs with these four chords, but we'll be changing the order of them so that we can do a whole batch of other songs, and I'll see you real soon.